Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Let's Play on Skylanders Trap Team. I am currently in the Sky Highlands battling the Air Pirates. And in the last episode, I was doing that as Batspin, who is called Batspin because she's a bat and she spins. <laughs> Pretty obvious. Uh, but yeah, uh, as I promised in the last episode, I am now playing as a brand new trap master. And that trap master is. Come. Boom! Look at this guy. Look at him. Look at that muscle. He's. He's basically a walking cannon. Is that like a fuse on his head? His head is on fire. <laughs> uh, he looks pretty. He looks pretty powerful. Though. Look at the size of him. This guy's huge. I'm surprised that the ground isn't shaking as he jumps up and down. So uh, yeah, let's um uh, let's get into some combat and uh, we'll see what this uh what this guy can do. And oh, I found the the legendary treasure. Not particularly hidden legendary treasure. It's like a weird key. Some sort of weird uh, gem key for some reason there. And I'm also uh, playing as a grenade. And a grenade is a really good for right now. Uh, not just because he has these little babies that he fires out all over the place, uh, but also <laughs> uh, because he... Um, uh, he's good at destroying uh, all of this purple stuff, and uh, when he does, uh, I'm able to get a, a bunch of money from it. Let's see if it works over here. I don't know if it works everywhere, but if I go and blow up really close, uh, sometimes a whole load of money comes out. Uh, but yeah, I'm apparently not there. Apparently that isn't one of the <laughs> one of the the occasions. So anyway, let's uh, go and keep trying to uh, to make my way up to the top up here. Oh, is that a little bonus bit? Right, which way am I supposed to go, and which way is the bonus way? Oh, if I go here, then I can jump down. Aha, I think this is the, the bonus way. And do we have an elemental gate? Uh, but sadly, I am the, the wrong element. I'm basically the opposite element I want to be. I'm supposed to be uh, water, uh, but I'm fire right now. But no worries, uh, we can uh, very quickly uh, go and switch over to Lobstar. And uh, we can go and get our way through this element uh, elemental gate. And then I can go and switch straight back over to Kaboom anyway. <laughs> uh, we'll, stay, we'll stay as lobster as we as we make our way through here. I'm probably uh, going to do a, uh, a few videos as Kaboom. Uh, just because he's uh, another trap master. And I want to uh, unlock uh, as many cool things uh, for him as I as I can. So I'm probably going to give him a, a, a decent a decent run for his money. <laughs> and to uh, see uh, how powerful he can become. Because uh, yeah, they can often uh, become pretty powerful. But it's good uh, that I found my way through this um, elemental gate. Uh, because this means... Uh, that uh, I'm going to be able to, to get a, a new magic hat. And I'm hoping uh, for Kaboom uh, that I can get a uh, one that gives me a speed boost. He seems a uh, boom time. He seems pretty powerful. Flynn's going to like this guy, isn't he? <laughs> he seems pretty powerful, uh, but he also seems pretty slow. So uh, any hat uh, that's going to be able to, to give him a, a bit of a, a speed boost uh, is going to be fine by me. But at least uh, we're getting him a whole load of money. Uh, so we should be able to get um, a few upgrades for him later on. And uh, here's the... Here's the, uh, yeah, here's where I want my hat, but I need to, to find a way to get to it. If I uh, jump my way up around the outside, look at the way he fuds around the place. Am I then going to be able to jump to the middle? Will I be able to make that jump? No, not quite. I can't get up there. I don't seem to be able to, to move it around either. Uh, it's probably not uh, too much fun for Kaboom Eva being uh, down here in the, the water as soon as he's a, a fire um, uh, element. And I can jump over to here. And, oh, there's a little box down here. Does this do anything? Hmm, or maybe that's just to, to make it so I don't get hurt when I fall. I reckon I'm going to probably keep getting uh, higher and higher going uh, around the, the outside then. But can I make this jump? Is this jump possible? Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can I can make that jump or not. I don't know whether I'm just a, a Skylander that can't jump very far. Uh, I think it would be quite difficult for him to jump holding that big cannon. No! Oh! Aha! There was a little switch here. I didn't see that. And that uh, has made this box float up uh, so I can carry on uh, getting even higher. Right, this is cool. And whoa, by the looks of things, we are trying to, to go a lot higher. So uh, let's go and keep making my way up here. If I go and stand on this platform, uh, this should lift me up a, a little bit higher. And uh, what do you reckon? Do you reckon there's going to be uh, another switch I've got to jump on to, to make the water come up even higher? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. But first, I need to carry on jumping my way up here. There we go. Just about I was able to, to fud my way down. And yep, here we go. We've got more water coming up. Uh, so I think this is the, the same box here. And uh, you can also see uh, that the, the, the present, which has the, the hat in, uh, is also rising up because that's on a uh, on a box that can float as well. All right, let's go jump across now. And then I need to go and jump back to the other side. I am probably literally being the worst Skylander to, <laughs> to do this jumping because of how big and heavy it is. And oh, I can't get up to that top 
uh, switch there. I can get to this one here though, and uh, that is going to lift this box up. Then I reckon I need to, to go around the, the outside to get that top one. What happens if I fall now? What happens if I fall in the water? Is that just going to really hurt me? But anyway, it doesn't matter for now because I uh, have found the present. So what I need to do now is... Smash, 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 is that like a, like a radar hat I found? Yep, it's a radar hat. And uh, it doesn't make me faster, uh, but it makes me even stronger. It puts my uh, my armor up. So I am pretty much like a walking tank now. And it looks <laughs> absolutely ridiculous on him. And look, you can see it spinning in a circle and going doot, 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 going around the place. Anyway, I need just to, to go and make my way back down now, I think. And uh, there's no point doing this elegantly. Let's just drop. <laughs> That's got to be the uh, the quickest way down. Uh, so yeah, it wasn't the, 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 uh, the kind of hat I wanted, uh, but it should help me out anyway. And it looks pretty hilarious and at the end of the day that's generally the way I pick my hats you know I'm sure you could go through the game and be really tactical and keep switching hats and having the best hat for the best character in the best situation I pick a hat that makes the character look funny and this one definitely does make him look funny so <laughs> that is a, a win in my book but anyway uh, let's go where I'm actually uh, supposed to go then I think I'm supposed to jump off and go to here and then I got to go and uh, spin this one up and let me see if this one goes up higher oh Okay, I think we do have two parts. Oh no, it doesn't go much higher, so I think uh, I do just need uh, to to make my way uh, up here. And uh, I've got to the, the upper defences. And oh, apparently uh, villains uh, are stronger in this area now, uh, so it would be a good idea uh, to switch over to grenade. And oh look, I think I might be able to get some money here. If I blow up next to this thing, yep, there we go. I got myself a whole load of extra money. I need to run out of there quick though, uh, because something was going to drop some missiles or something on me there. <laughs> yeah, let's go and uh, pick up a bit of this spare money. And uh, yeah, you can see that I'm doing a load of extra damage, uh, because I'm uh, playing I as a villain right now. Here, I call pirates blueberries for some reason. Can't remember why. But anyway, help shoot them down with that cannon, will you? <laughs> I like that name, blueberries. Anyway, let's go and try and shoot down uh, some of the uh, the airships. Then, if you didn't see the last video and you don't know what we're doing now, uh, basically we go on a big cannon and uh, we've got to try and uh, save our friends. And there's also gems you can get as well. There's little blue gems uh, that are sometimes following them. And I keep being able to get them all, but I'm not sure how I'm getting them. I'm not sure if I got to shoot the gem or if when I shoot all of the um, uh, all of the the air pirates, I just get the gem. Uh, but whatever I have been doing has been working, so I'm going to continue doing that and uh, hopefully get all of the uh, the bonus points from the gem. Did you see? Oh, there you go. I think I do shoot them. I think I do just have to shoot the gems, and uh, that's how I get them. That, that would make sense, wouldn't it? That would be the most logical uh, logical way to, to get them. So let's go and uh, try and make sure we take out all of these air pirates. I am definitely uh, getting better at aiming, and uh, I was so bad at the beginning. It's not <laughs> it's not that much to, to be getting at a better at aiming, but I uh, glad I'm going in the right direction. And now I'm um, a fire element. Uh, when I use my special elemental attack, like right now, uh, I'm shooting uh, fireballs rather than uh, whatever I was shooting in the last episode when I was uh, the, the undead element. So, uh, yeah, because I'm using it now, uh, you see that all of my shots are red and uh, they should uh, hopefully be doing some some extra fire damage, which uh, is going to be helpful uh, to take out all of the, the air pirates. <laughs> and you can hear her in the background talking about all of the, the blueberries which are chasing her. <laughs> I like that name. I like that name. But there we go. I was able to once again get four uh, out of uh, four gems. Uh, not too bad. And then the uh, the gate uh, which I need to go through has opened up uh, but before we do that I'm gonna have a little quick look inside of this weird egg looking hut and see what I can find oh look there's um, some traptanium here which I can go and blast open using my cannon and whoa I think I'm um, I think I made a big hole <laughs> I think I did a bit too much of a kaboom there anyway uh, let's now go and mash 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 and uh, go and try and get some uh, more of these monies. I got quite a lot already as Kaboom. I've got almost, uh, well, I've got over now uh, 3,000 gold. So uh, that means that if we do find Persephone uh, somewhere up here in the in the uh, the highlands, uh, the the Sky Highlands, I should be uh, able to to get some some cool new upgrades. It's good to at least be able to buy uh, a few more of the moves. I generally don't care too much about making it so the, the moves do more damage, especially when it's a Trap Master because uh, they are so powerful anyway. But uh, it's always good to... um. Yeah, it's always good to uh, just to get the the more moves. Uh, mainly just so you can see what they are, because a lot of the uh, the attacks look really cool in this game, and I'm normally normally just uh, curious to see what the uh, the uh, other moves are. But at the moment, I can fire my cannon. Oh look, I kind of do like a, a bit of a, a cannon job. I fire on the ground, and I use that to jump up, and then do a, a bit of a ground pound. Disturb the great Hawkmongus and his ragtag band of air pirates on their floating mine outpost, except you, apparently. But since no one else ever has, I still have no idea who you are. 
What I do know is that we won't allow you to use our prism for good. Only evil! And because you are not evil, you must be attacked! Get that? <laughs> Whoever that is! Maximum I, I think I preferred it when I was playing Sky Stones against him. <laughs> How he doesn't know I'm not evil. I look kind of... For, for all he knows, I, I could be evil. I mean, I'm not, but he doesn't know that yet, does he? And what's this? There's a log here. There's a log that if I keep shooting it... Uh, I think I just destroyed it. I don't know what that was about. Oh, no. And now there's a laser. Oh, is it shooting at me? I think it... Oh, the laser's shooting at me. Oh, look, look at this. If I go and stand so the laser's, uh, the laser's trying to shoot me, but actually shoots the, the enemies, uh, it does dum uh, damage against them, which is uh, uh, pretty good. And I am the uh, the wrong element here. Uh, it wants me to be the um, uh, the air element, would uh, allow me to do more damage. Uh, but hopefully, uh, Kaboom's going to be strong enough uh, that he can do quite a, not, uh, quite a lot of damage against them anyway. He doesn't seem to be doing crazy damage, uh, but because he can obviously fire his cannon at range, uh, that's a, a really effective way uh, where you can hurt people, uh, but they can't hurt you. But that laser uh, from that prism thing uh, is really doing a lot of damage against me. So I'm going to go as a grenade for a bit uh, so I can just run around uh, dropping all of these these bombs and uh, hopefully do some damage. And is there a little guy? There's a little guy stuck behind here. You can see him kind of hiding there. There we go. <laughs> I was able to, to take him out. And uh, there we go. I got my uh, my health fully back up as Kaboom now. I can hopefully start dealing some some more damage. I definitely need to keep on the move though. The problem is, is I, th I feel like I need to move quite quickly. And uh, yeah, with the, the laser going, uh, it's kind of hard to to dodge it as Kaboom because he's 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 pretty slow. I mean, he's 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 a big guy. You can understand it. And he's carrying a huge cannon. And oh no, I think here comes the lasers again. Look, they're all lifting up. All of the uh, the prisms, uh, the weird rock things, uh, are all lifting up. And yet the lasers going after me again. So what I'm going to try and do is there we go. Make it so that the lasers is uh, are shooting the the other googlies uh, rather than at me. That's uh, a <laughs> that seems to be a really effective way to do it. So uh, these guys should be pretty hurt. I should just be able to go and uh, finish them off uh, as Kaboom here. Uh, a few more cannons at this guy should finish him off he's gonna punch me oh nope i wasn't able to to dodge him there uh, he was able to to take me out and i think yep the uh, the laser's about to, to fire again now though i don't think there's anything i can do oh what's going on let us fight Aha! Hi -ya! taekwon crow yeah, right, looks like I'm going against Tai Quan Crow himself. And oh look, all my cannons all all fiery now. Why is my cannon all fiery? Look, I'm doing like loads of extra damage. I've just suddenly become really extra powerful for some reason. I don't know why. I have no idea why, but I am not going to complain. I'm going to take it and I am going to make the most of it because this guy uh, seems to be uh, pretty uh, pretty dangerous. Uh, I just gonna, uh, need to just try and stay away from him. Uh, he seems to try and keep uh, teleporting to get close and uh, using his sword as if I can keep dodging him and then shooting him out at range with my cannon. I should be able to do a lot of damage. Let's go and try and use this move. There we go. I've got a, a good ground pound on him there. I need to keep dodging him though. And there we go. I'm doing a pretty good job actually of uh, not allowing him to hit me. As soon as I can see him teleport, he gets me. But he does... That weird attack where he slashes on the ground, then it makes a, a trail of purple energy or something come after me. So I want to make sure that I dodge that. <laughs> He's all over the place. I can't keep track of him. I'm able though to, to do quite a lot of damage. Let's go and um, let's go and give grenade a go. Because if I just send all of these grenades, uh, no matter where he pops up, they're just going to be doing absolutely uh, loads of damage against him. That seems to be uh, pretty effective. He's very weak right now. Can I get a few more shots on him? One or two more, and there we go. I was able to take him out. Taekwon Crow <laughs> has been defeated. I won't uh, though um, be able to capture him. I think he's um I think he's of the the dark element, either the light or dark, and uh, so I don't think I'm going to be able to to capture him yet, which is a shame. Uh, but it doesn't really matter though. I was able to defeat him and uh, complete the mission nonetheless. And there we go. I uh, got a bounty for doing so. Uh, I'm also able to use him as a Sky Stone. Uh, so hopefully he's going to be better as a Sky Stone than he is at playing Sky so Stone. So all we got to <laughs> do is shine this light through this prism, and it will point the way to the Golden Queen Super Secret Temple? Yep. If she's as gold as everyone says she is, then this ought to do it. She's in the Golden Desert. Seems kind of obvious now that I think of it. Let's hurry up and head back to the Academy first. 
I could use a bathroom stop. You'd think my robot would have a place to go, but not so much. There we go. We did it. And we now know where the, the Golden Queen is. She's in the Golden Desert. If someone asked me, I'd have probably guessed that, but <laughs> I guess it's uh, probably a pretty big desert, uh, so it's going to be hard to find. And I'm not even going to bother looking at this because at a, a quick glance, I can see I did rubbish and hardly found any of the uh, the secrets. So uh, let's ignore that. Uh, let's go and uh, make a plan uh, to uh, head to the, the desert. And uh, yeah, we need to work out how what we're going to try and go after the queen. What are you standing around for? We know where she is now. Get that golden queen! First rule of Secret Ninja Commando School is that you must use extreme caution before approaching the enemy. Or eating chili. I say we go after the queen and eat chili. Buzz is right, Flynn. She'll be expecting an attack. How about I scout ahead and gather up a little intel for the Skylander? Like the use of the word intel there, young lady. At this rate, you'll be a secret ninja commando in no time. Well, I may not have secret tomato skills or even have the slightest idea what those things are, but I am still the best pilot in Skylands, so you let me know when you're ready to roll, Skylander. Okay, I will do. I love how much bigger I am than everyone else. I am literally a walking giant. And looks like I got myself a present as well. So let's go and smash, 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 where, where am I even wearing? I can't even see. What's it? Have I put it on the end of my cannon? Or Oh, look, I can see it. It's just um, kind of on my right shoulder, just above the cannon. Oh, you can kind of see it there. I'm, I'm wearing a, a, a new trinket. Anyway, I'm not going to go straight to the uh, the next mission because I, what I want to do is I want to go and uh, speak to, to Persephone and uh, see what upgrades I can get. Seeing as I has, uh, have a 5,000 uh, uh, gold, I should be able to get some new moves. So this is what I want to do first. The Meteor Strike. Looks like I uh, fire my cannon uh, up into the, uh, into the sky. And that goes and uh, drops down a whole load of cannonballs like meteors, uh, which is going to be uh, very useful. And uh, what else can I do then? Um, ooh, Mortar Strike Attack now rains down fiery Traptanium missiles. There we go. As soon as I have uh, so much money, I'm going to go straight to the expensive one. Oh no, it won't let me buy it yet. I can't buy it. Is that because I need to find the soul gem? Or do I need to, to go and uh, buy some more of these ones? So let's do this one. This one uh, allows me to, to charge up my cannon attack. Uh, so rather than firing quickly, I can charge up one big cannonball uh, to try and take uh, out a, uh, a big foe. So I uh, might as well go and get that one. Uh, what else can we do? We can do this one. Increases the range of the, uh, the mortar strike. Uh, this uh, sounds like it's going to be uh, mighty handy. And uh, what else are we going to... Um, are going to upgrade. We still have 3,000 monies left, so uh, I might actually be able to upgrade absolutely everything on this person, which would be good. And uh, now I need to choose my path. So uh, Cannonball Runner, uh, improve the Cannonball Attacks, or improve the Jump Attacks. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the, the Cannonball Attacks, because they seem uh, to be the ones that I'm going to use more often. So uh, I'm going to go and uh, choose that path. Uh, I still have lots of money left, though. Are there going to be new things for me to upgrade? Aha! There are. Uh, oh, look, they ricochet off walls. That'll be useful. Uh, they bounce between enemies. Uh, let's go and... Oh, I can shoot three at once. Can I afford it? Oh, I can. I can afford this one. This way, I'm going to be able to shoot three at once. Imagine once I've bought all of them, so I can shoot three cannonballs at a time, and they'll all be bouncing off walls and enemies and all sorts. That would be crazy. Look at this now. This is absolutely awesome, and let's go and make it rain. Woo! Oh, look at that. Uh, this guy is awesome. This guy is absolutely amazing. Right, I'm going to go and I'm going to play as a Kaboom uh, in the uh, the next episode as well, uh, just because I want to play as this guy uh, for a, a little bit longer. Uh, but sadly, uh, we have just about uh, run out of time in this episode. So in the next episode, it uh, sounds like we're going to be going to the, uh, the Golden Desert and finally actually facing uh, the Golden Queen herself. So uh, that should uh, be very exciting. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later.